welcome to the channel. Today we are getting into the combi and we are going to paint this big pig. Um, yeah, so lots and lots of work behind the scenes, panel beating, sanding, panel beating, sanding. So much sanding. It is, oh, uh, yeah. But as you know, or from watching good panel beaters on YouTube, that there's a lot of work and yeah, it takes lots to get it straight. This car isn't perfect, it's not meant to be perfect, it's pretty close, but I'm using this to go camping and go into the bush and all that kind of stuff, so it's not going to be 100%, but I've been slogging this out while behind the scenes just because I've been trying to, I don't, I don't find it too fascinating and I guess I'm not the best at it, so I'm guessing I'm trying not to pass on bad techniques, um, but yeah, lots and lots of sanding and panel beating. But as you can see here, I'm jumping into doing shrinking and uh, panel beating on the side of the man, that's a lot. panel beating on the side of this combi. Um, it needed a bit of shrinks just from uh, doing a few repairs on the bottom seal, just in the sliding door, and uh, just because the engine fire that it had. So yeah, please stay tuned. In this video, we paint this big bread loaf, man, bread, man. Okay, so doing that many, many, many more times, we are ended up here, which is me walking around the car um, with it ready for some high build primer. So I went around and I did all my body work, got it all what I think was pretty straight, and um, then etch primed all the little bits of raw steel that were left. And then as you can see, all the big bits of body filler that you can see underneath the light mist of gray on there, um, need to be filled up with like a thick paint which fills in all the scratches from all your body work and so just before or just after this is filmed I go around the car probably I think about four or five times putting some nice big heavy coats of paint on there and you leave it for about two weeks and it shrinks into all the cracks and then you can sand it with uh, like a finer grit sandpaper and like a, a long straight block and it blocks out all the panels and then it shows you where there's any imperfections or misfits that you've done or stuff like that. So I did that a few times and got it pretty close. But then on my final sand, there was a few little bits I wasn't quite happy with. So I've just done a little bit of extra like glazing putty, I think they call it, or like pinhole putty. And I've just, there's a few, they're a little bit bigger than I wanted to do. There's a few little bits that I missed. So I've touched that up and then I start masking it up. And so this, short time lapse is quite a long time in between uh, but I didn't really film too much of it because there is plenty of other uh, channels out there showing proper decent paint prep and sanding and all that kind of stuff that yeah go and watch them they're much better than I am and so I've got it pretty straight masking it all up and getting ready to paint it so to get ready to paint it I've uh, then put a base coat over, not base coat, but I reapplied the uh, grey undercoat on top of all my repairs and all my sanding and everything else just to give the white or the paint uh, a nice base coat so it's all one colour. From what I've been taught is that if you leave a few different colours under there as you're painting it, sometimes 
you might need a little bit more paint than a little bit more paint to say cover the grey than to say cover the little white bits or little other bits on there and so sometimes you get your paint looking a little bit funny so I always try to just like put a final base coat over it and then because it's still wet when I paint it it uh, it sticks rather than having to leave it and then sand it and then paint it again just do wet on wet so let it tack off and go starting to dry and then paint on top of that um, I've done it quite a few times and it works out pretty well but yeah have a watch me finally have a watch. I'm really sorry from this point on we get no more filming of me painting the car because my camera froze so as you can see this is a frame I get for about an hour okay so painted um yeah not too bad there's a few bits that are locked up uh, sorry a few bits are stuffed up um just a few runs there's like one or two maybe little pin holes that I missed and so uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It'll look good going down the road and it'll well, it's nice and straight or straight enough uh, So have a look so We have One painted combi so I ended up I remember originally I said I was gonna keep all under here gray, but I was under there So I was like why not let's let's paint it white so got in there and did it uh, You got a little run here and along that edge but it's all nice and painted in there. Come around here, don't look over there. And she came out pretty good. So, like, I'm 99% happy with it. There's a few, there's a couple little bits that I'm annoyed about, but it is what it is. It's pretty straight. Pretty happy with that. So, I'm going to call it. So, it might be a little bit of a scattered episode of a bit of everything because I didn't really film too much but yeah we have painted combi and now it gets onto the good bit other than painting the doors and a few other little bits and pieces but yeah I can actually start putting things in steering wheel dash ignition all that kind of good stuff so hopefully whoop we got to sneeze no it's gone um oh, it's back oh no we're good um yeah so happy with that so thanks for coming along uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers
Put some new wheels on there. Not really. Just older uh, Mercedes rims, which are 15s, uh, with some fatty tyres on there. So it's looking good. Uh, yeah, please like, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.